Okay, John, I'm over here at the property. So, ah, uh, boy. All right, so, yeah, you're gonna have to re-roof and re-sheet, and you're probably gonna have to replace a few um, of the rafters up there. But overall, the siding doesn't look too bad. Uh, you know, you can see organic growth on everything. But you're definitely gonna need to resheet it. Um, the driveway is surprisingly good. So it's exposed to aggregate. Looks good. But you can see this right here. Oh man. But it doesn't look like it's getting in the house yet. Um, at least in this area. Foundation, there's one crack here. It's it's, it's a slightly offset, but I'm not all oh, checking the house. The door threshold's pretty rotten. Of course, this is the west side of the house, so it gets a lot of wind-driven rain over here. So you're gonna have to have a little bit of this little punky here. You can see that a little bit of work there. Again, the roof resheeted. Um, Front yards, nice wide lot. I mean, it's wide. This side of the house uh, there's going to be a little bit. There's a couple of spots right there and down below here where you're going to have to replace some siding. So I'd say the south side of the house definitely going to need new siding, and it's all uh, land, uh, cedar lap. So we'll go into the house. The windows are single pane windows. Well, they're double pane, I take that back. They're double pane, but they're the old aluminum windows. So here's the kitchen. The drywall is pretty much intact in the house. Um, I'm starting to see a little bit, this is where that roof is kind of going. You can see a little bit of organic growth on there. Got a garage. Hmm. It's actually a pretty decent garage. Nice and tall. Uh, just thinking maybe we could bump it out, put a second bath in. There's a roof up here. Roof looks good. All the sheathing and everything up in the roof looks great over the garage. Actually, it looks really good. So I'm just thinking maybe we do a bump out over here or something, put in a second bathroom. Um, that would give you some added value. Let's we'll see if, what's on the other side of that wall. I think it's a bedroom. <coughs> Washer dryer in the kitchen. It's all electric baseboard heating. It's got popcorn ceilings. It's got a uh, wood burning fireplace here. Big family room. It's actually a good sized family room. Little coat closet here. Like I said, all the drywall is pretty much intact. There's a lot of mold, you know, mildew. Strong mildew smell. And here's here's where the biggest problem is gonna be is the bathroom. Holy moly, John. Oh my god. The floor is just rotted through under the tub. So you're gonna have to do the underlayment of this whole. You can see the studs are rotten down here. It's all rotted out. But I think it's just around the tub area. So, I mean, you're just going to have to gut this bathroom. You see all the mildew and mold in it. Totally gut it out. A little bit of framing, a little bit of underlayment. This is bedroom number two. And this room, other than the door, they tried to put some door front door basically with side lights on it stupid uh why they would have a door going out that should be a window second bedroom is a good sized bedroom uh oh god this is gnarly see so your window sills are pretty disgusting uh the things i do for you john Closet, a little bit of mildew in the closet. 
So that's one, two bedrooms. Here's an area that's gonna have to be cut out. That's the back side of the, the uh, shower here. Third bedroom. So here's the option, like to cut in right here and bump out into that garage. We could probably do a second bathroom in there, um, which would add some value if we're just gonna flip it otherwise. I just don't think you can tear this down and build it out and get more than two and a quarter. You might get two million, two and a quarter if we start new and go with a brand new house. But this neighborhood's not super strong. It's not Bellevue, buddy. Um, driveway is really nice, though. I mean, it's it's in great shape. You know, a lot of blackberries are in the front yard. They tore them all out. You still have all the roots and everything. You need my tractor over here. Um, backyard. Let's go take a look. An old crappy shed. Oh, an old deck. Oh boy, you can tear all this crap out. All the windows are boarded up. Roof. It's surprising that the, the roof over the garage is still in good shape. You can see there's a lot of ferns growing up there. Oh my god. Oh, unbelievable. But it's got a nice backyard. Nice and big backyard. Yeah, you can see the roof. It's, it's like a swamp monster got to it. Deck's all rotten, falling apart. It's a nice house next door. In fact, the, the house on the other side is a nice house too. Um, nice new fence. This fence is older, but it's in good shape. This one's showing, showing a lot of wear. But, um, yeah, I think this could be a flip candidate. Yeah, add that second bathroom, put new windows on it. You have to replace the roof completely. And maybe some of the rafters. I mean, these, the rafter tails are, are pretty rotten in certain sections. I kind of see that up here. Yeah, you can see that blown out. The lookouts on here are all good. This whole side's good. It's just, they didn't have any gutters on here. Or they had them, but you know, it's just all, all the sheathing's bad. And these rafter tails are, are pretty bad. The siding, this is the south side. So this is the only side that I see that needs reciting. Um, that's pretty punky. There's a hole right there. There's a hole right here. There's a hole down here. Another crack in the foundation that's been filled. I don't feel any like the floors don't feel unlevel to me in the house. Even if it were slightly off, you could float it out, but they feel fine. There's nothing like oh my god, except for that roof and that bathroom in there. It's just really nasty. They got a lawnmower in there. Yeah. They'll be looking for a lawnmower. It's a craftsman. There you go. So, anyways, I'm gonna run the numbers, and uh, yeah, this siding all looks really good, actually. Other than it's discolored, but the wood's in great shape, and it's got a beautiful driveway. Really nice exposed aggregate driveway. I mean, there's only one crack in this driveway great shape and there's a green belt across the way and this house is next door which is a really nice house um, Kenmore starts right there Kenmore sign sitting over there and the next two houses from this are really nice so yeah it's a quiet street too. I thought it was going to be busy, but it's actually a pretty quiet street. So I, I definitely think it would be a good candidate for a flip. Uh, if we put a second bathroom off the master and bump it out into the garage. I don't know what that would take permitting wise, but if we could do that, it would make it a reasonable house. Now we just 
just got to figure out, you know, comp wise what that looks like. But I'm, I'm pretty sure you get a second bathroom in here and clean this place up and landscape it beautifully. Uh, you know, you, you do well on it. So, anyways, I'll upload it.